So you wanted to create an actual free uh, landing page for your Facebook ads. I'm gonna be showing you how to get started today. Now, let's see how to get. So the very first thing you wanted to do, of course, is to have an actual account here inside the metasuit.com. Directly here into Meta Ads, what you wanted to do is to choose, first of all, a landing page builder. The first step is to choose a landing page builder that offers an actual free plan. There are several elements which you can just get started with actual uh, stuff totally for free. So what I'm gonna be doing here is to open a new tab and go for Beacons. Now, Beacons is an amazing place to adding an actual linked uh, landing page builder. Now, there's an actual linked into bio, but when it comes to creating an actual landing page, it actually looks really simple, too easy, and of course, totally for free. Landing page, uh, the linked in bio, is something that usually everybody uses, and of course, are elements that are totally for free. So there are limited elements that, of course, you need to take that in mind. But if you still want to look out for something totally for free, easy and fast for using only inside of Facebook tracking, I believe that Beacons is a really great element to track all your conversions. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to get started with the Beacons.ai. So go for the link that I'm going to be leaving you, of course, down below in the description and sign with your actual account. So if you don't have an account, just provide an email as well as a passcode and verify that email in order to come to you. So here what you can do is to add a profile picture and start by customizing your actual store or in this case, an actual landing page or a LinkedIn bio. So as you can see, here is how it should be having this new element. And here what you can do is to add different links inside your LinkedIn bio. For example, here, I'm gonna just uh, go for add Nili link. And here I enter the URL. For example, in this case, I'm gonna send people directly into my Shopify store of a specific product. So assuming, for example, that I want people to buy, I'm gonna go for products. To buy this product, I'm gonna choose this element. And of course, see this into my store. I have the online store and this is the actual product. So I copy this link and I paste it directly into my URL. I go for add, and here's the title. For example, shop, now the high quality chunky sneakers. Chunky sneakers, I'm gonna go for chunky sneakers 2024. And here I go for buy now. And here it should be appearing to my link here, chunky sneakers to buy now. So as you can see, it actually looks great so far. So I'm gonna just close this element and go for back. Now what I wanted to do here, of course, is to select a template to start from scratch or to start from scratch, we can go here into the upper side, go for the design. Now at this time, what you can do, uh, customizing the landing page, you can add your own text, you can add your own images, you can have any actual branding elements to make it unique to your campaign and make sure your landing page is clear, concise, and focuses only into the call to action. So something really, really important. When it comes to actually having an actual landing page is to only focus into one product. But if you want to focus into one, more than one product, then you can add more links to here. But in my case, I'm going to just leave this as it is and focus now here inside this link and go for the layouts. Now this layout should be looking like this. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. You can change this from one section to another one. As you can see, here's the text alignment. The aspect rating should be changed if you wanted to. And there we go. Now what I want to be doing here is to having the actual element that would have been added into my store and make sure that I don't have more elements added into my page title. For example, the email sign it up and the store should be disabled. In this case, I only have the product and the title of my store. Now that I have those elements added inside here, I'm going to be going into the upper side and copy this actual link. This is the part what you wanted to preview and publish your landing page. So if I copy and paste it into your new site, here is my LinkedIn bio or my landing page of the product that have been published. So I can add more information about my uh, product, about my title, the description, more specifications, and so on and on. So as you can see, it actually looks really great. The actual landing page doesn't look that bad. And what I can do is just to copy this actual link and paste it directly inside my ads manager section of my website. What it says the website section and the destination, I have the website URL and I paste my website URL. Lastly, what I just need to do is to go for preview URL and make sure that it actually worked it and make the customization of your title, your text, your images, and much more directly into your store. 
and there you have it guys it's a really really easy way of how you can get started by adding landing page linkedin bio only for using this into ads manager so you have successfully created a free landing page into your facebook ads campaign now you can drive traffic to your landing page and start converting businesses into customers once again remember that if you are creating ads manager for only one product you want to add this only one product into your actual landing page if you wanted to promote an actual store then you can promote one um a little bit more than just one product i mean the feature product so you can have more variety of the, all the information so guys don't forget to like subscribe and share this video for more tips into the digital marketing and advertising thank you so much for watching the video hopefully with all that being said guys we can see you into a brand new section of text see you next time